Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics HQ. This is Professor Sandeep, your tutor for the class 12 series. Continuing with the lecture series of solving MCQs and sums of class 12 physics. Today we will be covering MCQs of chapter 14, Dual Nature of Radiation and Matter. Let us check out the first MCQ. A photocell is used to automatically switch on the street lights in the evening when the sunlight is low in intensity. Thus it has to work with visible light. The material of the cathode of the photocell is zinc, aluminium, nickel or potassium. Now in the case of photoelectric effect, whenever an ultraviolet ray falls on a metal, the electrons from the surface of the metals are emitted out. But in our case, we are supposed to use visible light. As you can see from this frequency spectrum, the frequency of ultraviolet ray is greater than the frequency of visible light. Energy that is provided by photons is given by H nu where nu is frequency over here so if higher is the frequency higher will be the energy given but we are supposed to work with visible light and visible light has a lower frequency when compared with ultraviolet so we need to select a metal that can give out electron easily even with lesser energy so the correct option over here will be option d which is potassium now potassium falls in the category of alkali metals if you look in the periodic table the first column is of alkali metal except the hydrogen at the top so in that column you will find sodium potassium all these alkali metals they have only one electron in the outermost shell and they are readily available to give it even with minimum energy provided so the correct option over here will be option d hope you all understood this let us check out the next mcq Polychromatic radiation is used in an experiment on photoelectric effect. The stopping potential will depend on the average wavelength, longest, shortest or will not depend on the wavelength. As we have seen in the last sum, the energy provided by the photon is dependent upon the frequency. Higher is the frequency, higher will be the energy of the electron emitted and the stopping potential required to stop it will be also higher. So what we can say over here is stopping potential is directly dependent upon the frequency. Higher will be the frequency, higher will be the stopping potential. Now we are supposed to find the relation in terms of wavelength. We know that frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength. And therefore the stopping potential will be highest for the electron which is having the lowest wavelength. So the correct option will be the one with the shortest wavelength. Let us check out the next MCQ. An electron, proton, alpha particle and a hydrogen atom are moving with the same kinetic energy. The associated de Broglie wavelength will be longest for electron, proton, alpha particle or hydrogen atom. Now the wavelength is given by H by P which is momentum which can also be written as root of 2 M into K where M is the mass and K is kinetic energy. We have used this formula because they have mentioned that all the particles are moving with same kinetic energy. Now if you compare the wavelengths for all the particle H is already constant which is Planck constant. Kinetic energy is same so we find that lambda is inversely proportional to the root of mass over here and out of all the four options that we have electron has the least mass and therefore the wavelength for it will be the longest so the correct option is option a let us check out the next mcq if n red n blue are the number of photons emitted by the respective sources of equal power and equal dimensions in unit time then which relation given over here is correct now to understand this let us talk about the power and time which is given over here we know that product of power and time is nothing but energy for both the sources Amount of power and time taken is same, therefore energy will be same for both the sources. So we can write energy for the red source will be equal to energy for the blue source. Now energy of a single photon emitted by the red source is given by H nu of red source. This is the energy of single photon. To find the total energy in that particular time we will multiply it by let us say an R which is the number of photons of red source emitted this will be equal to similarly number of blue photons which are emitted and the energy of every photon will be given by this formula we can cancel out Planck's constant H from both the side and we can write down NR upon NB this is equal to frequency of blue source upon frequency of red source now if we check out in the spectrum given over here we find that when we move from right to left 
the frequency increases so when we move from red to blue the frequency increases so what we see is frequency of blue color is greater than the frequency of red color since frequency of blue is greater than frequency of red we can say that this ratio will be greater than 1 so if this part is greater than 1 we can write down n of r upon n of b this will also be greater than 1 which simply means that number of red photons is greater than number of blue photons hope you all understood this let us check out the next mcq the equation e equal to pc is valid for all subatomic particles for an electron but not for an photon for a photon but not for an electron valid for both an electron and a photon now this equation energy equal to momentum into the speed of light it is particularly defined for a photon which does not have mass therefore correct option is option c it is valid for a photon but not for an electron hope you all understood this thank you for your time if you are finding this lecture series useful then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates as you know based on your feedback and suggestions we'll be covering key concepts under our 5 minutes lecture series of class 12 so please feel free to let us know the topic you want us to cover see you all in the next class this is professor sandeep from physics hq signing off